What is going on guys? Wiser here coming to you with a recap of one of the last wars for Invicta. Uh, it was a random matchup against We Are Spartans, the feeder clan to Spartans Legacy. Uh, was actually one of those just beautiful kind of random matchups that are very, very even, uh, very even strength clans. I don't really know. Again, I don't look too, too much into like the hero level difference or whatever. But um, I do know Invicta and We Are Spartans are in the similar position to their clan family. Um as each other so uh really cool matchup and victa came away with a victory really nice victory for victor 83 to 81 uh great effort from spartans kept us on our toes at all times um you know you can see what they did uh nice easy twos for their tens on our 11s so that's always good they got us um uh, bully uh, three star there on Danny Boy, uh, Batman, Death Hopper 9.5s definitely got three star and cleaned up. They did miss one Town Hall 9, so that kind of sucked for them. Uh, other than that, really fantastic effort, Spartans. Good job. Uh, and our guys just really shone up top. Um, we did have some struggles on the Town Hall 9 level, had to use, I think, four or five bullies. Um, some nice uh, things, right? Same thing, our 10s. Some nice two stars there on their 11s. Um, then <laughs> add one, two, three, four, four uh, very successful bully attacks. Uh, I'm going to actually show one of these. There's um, With the new units, you know, I don't like showing, especially 10, 11s kind of beaten up on 10s, but there's one attack. When we get to it, I'll show you. With all these new units, um, I'm finding our 11s are getting really creative, and it's starting to pay off. <laughs> but as you can see, we cleaned up the board down low. We did have to use, like I said, a handful of bully attacks. But let's just jump right into this. I got some really, really nice attacks I want to show. So Heartless. Love this guy. Heartless, uh, I believe, just got promoted. Um, a lot of promotions going around. Um, you know, Heartless is just a beast, though, for us. Uh, I think he got promoted... I don't know. God, I need, I need to I need to check up on my packs here, but Heartless is just awesome. Um believe he's an elder now. I think that's that's the promotion he got. Um I know there's something about Heartless that just happened recently, but look at this little queen charge he pulls here. So also look at the comp. Five dragons, right? Four rages and a haste and a poison. You're gonna find out in a moment he doesn't even need half of those spells. Uh, but the other thing is he's got a lava hound in that CC and eight balloons so the goal here is break into this compartment look at this air defense air defense both very very easily accessible um and already has one down so there's only two air defense left at this point once uh works once the queen works through this gold storage uh she's gonna step up and take that uh, third air defense and then drop this one max hound on this compartment and a handful of balloons kind of scattered around uh does lose the hound fairly quickly but ends up getting the air defense before that happens it is a low level air defense as well so that max hound is just going to tank forever <clears throat> gets the perfect burst on it right as the balloons kill the air defense the hound burst so couldn't ask for better dragons are now in at this queen chamber and as you can see every air defense is down has not even deployed his king still has a couple wizards and a couple minions in the bag two rages and a poison does use a rage down that queen chamber has these balloons now moving in to help these dragons out keep them alive take care of these uh these defenses, while well, they're working on that high hit point crap, Queen is still going good down there with the Queen Walk. Again, still has not dropped his King. Probably does not have to drop the King the entire raid, to be honest. Because all these dragons are going to move in. It's only one compartment, right? The Queen definitely is going to take care of this stuff. It's got dragons on the Town Hall, so that's going down. Finally drops that King over at 3 o'clock, but like I said probably didn't have to um the dragons these three dragons definitely gonna have no problem taking care of the tesla and the wizard tower and a few storages definitely gonna be three in the bag and take a look at that not only was it a swag king in my opinion but two swag rages and a poison just smashed it heartless really nice job buddy um 24 good old zeus shock a lot of six packs this war i know oiler had a six pack zeus had a six pack um zeus has been absolutely ripping it up for us in invicta just a really solid solid th9 attacker bringing a standard double jump govaho here you know that's one of my favorite all-time attacks i was using it before it was cool now it's just the coolest thing in the world <laughs> um so zeusy boy's going right in at this chamber now what i liked about this was see this jump placement it's connecting all of this stuff now 
I might have forced it because I, I don't think I would have wanted this compartment at 3 o'clock connected. But Poison goes down, taking care of the CC troops, right? Queen's going to get right in there, help out. Uh, does get that heal down for the Valks, which is really good because uh, your Valks can take some serious damage. But everything's drawn to this clump of buildings and then the queen hops over into that compartment so that was kind of the plan the whole time queen goes down this heel is just perfect because that king gets in on the valks and there's the valks do a little bit of a split so see how long it took that king to go down if that heel was not down early those tesla's would have fried those valks in no time oh but as you see, everything is looking fine and dandy. Hogs are in, helping reinforce now. Just really need to take care of that expo, and the queen is doing that like nothing. Got to step up. There's a cannon, wizard tower, and a um, arch tower in the corner there. It's always got to worry about. And down it goes. That's gonna be a tree in the bag for Zeus. Da -da -da. A few more trash buildings, and good job, my friends. Beautiful. Right next on the block, 22, Heisenberg going in on Shanks. Heisenberg recently came back to us. He was in the clan before and had to take a little bit of a vacay and then uh, did come back. Um, really cool guy, actually. He's, uh, he's just a riot in chat. Um, this base, I thought, was interesting. Now, I don't know. I mean, I think he's kind of trying to go for, like, the Valkyrie traps on the outside, meaning... If you get Valks into the base and then they see these clumps of buildings on the outsides of the base, instead of continuing through the base, they might stand there on a wall and try and break through to get out to those buildings. Now, I'm not a fan of leaving this whole um, void section up here, especially with a mortar up there. I know mortars don't do a lot, but you should still protect your defensive buildings. Anyhow, what Heisenberg does here is awesome. Just a suicide hero. Right at this air defense. Other thing about this base is look at these air defenses. They're all right on the outside. Like they're so easily accessible. Very, very poorly defended on the air defense. But what he's done now with this suicide hero, taking care of uh, the funnel on this side, and he can just send all the dragons in and know they're just going to go up, right up to this air defense. He's also cleared out these army camps. So if you drop three balloons here, especially if there's a dragon coming up to tank, two balloons even, and you're going to see with a haste spell, just immediately lock onto this uh, air defense like nothing. So there's a hound in, do a, did a little bit of tanking on that air defense with the balloons. They take that down. Same thing. It moves right over here, instantly drops the balloons. The balloons get right over to that air D, take it down, and then all he's got to worry about is this air defense now at the bottom. And like I said, as soon as a dragon or anything gets close to that, he can just drop those two balloons and a haste spell, and that air defense is going down very, very quickly. Rage in the core, right? Those dragons are just smashing. Has a bunch of them at 12. Like, look at all these dragons. I think he brought nine dragons <laughs> for this attack with just suicide heroes and a few balloons. Just a fantastic read on this base. So down goes that air defense. And there's really a mortar and a cannon. Nothing that can take care of Nothing that can touch these dragons up. Just a matter of time at this point. Blam, blam, blam. Down she goes. And that's a tree star in the bag for Heisenberg. Sexy. Look at that. Nine dragons. Nine dragons, six balloons. Sui heroes. Beautiful. Um, Sir Cass just recently got promoted to Invicta from Swarm. Just been killing us. He was, in a, he was a, an elder in Swarm for quite a long time, helping us run stuff down there. Um, just working on his hero levels and stuff. Now they're up at the 25-25 level. Uh, it was time to move to Invicta. Uh, and really showing us that it was a good choice here because <laughs> bringing this little bit of a queen charge. I love the baby, uh, baby dragon. I think the baby dragon ends up getting four or five buildings for that 10 troop space. So I think that was really good. Yeah, four buildings, maybe even five. I think he steps up and gets that mortar as well. <clears throat> so opens up this little compartment. Um, just going to uh, let this queen walk in, have access to the expo, pull out the clan castle to her, just deal with all that stuff, drops that wizard, get, uh, get a little bit of damage going on that elixir storage. <clears throat> Things are looking pretty good at this point. Gonna have to drop that rage spell here in one moment. There it goes. Drops the poison, slows that hound down. Does do a little bit of work to those max hounds, right? Um, you do definitely want to save one or at least make sure you have a plan for when that hound bursts. Because when the max hounds burst, your queen is taking huge damage for a very short amount of time until those pups get cleaned up. Look at this. Look at that full health queen. 
and boom, 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 boom. I guess someone walked on the healer, but see that? With the expo, look how fast she went down. That sweeper definitely uh, definitely is in a good spot, but just not quite enough to take that queen down. So as you can see, funnel spell, um, funneling goes down at the queen chamber. Another good use of a baby dragon there. It's got a lot of good value. Baby dragon's still going to get good value up there. Jump spell goes down, opening up a big chunk of this base. Valks are in, golems in there. Two jump spells go down. Now, does want to get that heal spell down. There it goes. Uh, probably would have shifted it a little bit so it got these Valks in the corks. I think he does lose one, but see, they dropped this clan castle. Step up, does lose one there. If the heal spell was on the core, wouldn't have lost one. See that? See that? What I'm talking, what we, me and Cad were talking about with that spring trap. Sometimes it springs too. In my opinion, there should be a, no reason that at least one Valkyrie didn't get sprung there, but it didn't. But whatever. Anyhow, Hogs are now reinforcing these Valkyries at this uh, 9 o'clock spot. There's only a couple defenses to go. Queen is still doing her thing. Those healers on her back. No chance whatsoever for this base. <laughs> now goes the Tesla. All defenses are down, and it's definitely tree in the bag for Cass. Nice job, buddy. Welcome to Invicta. All right, number 17. Another dragon attack with a zap quake, which I thought was really cool. So a couple, a few different variations of drag attacks here, guys. I mean, it's something to think about when you're base building, right? It, what what can dragons do to your base? Like you need to have a, a bit of a plan for it. I mean, it's not going to be a super common attack, you see, but a guy like Val can really break your base down and realize, okay, well, if I take care of this air defense with the zap quake, I bring a little queen charge and just charge her into this little L-shaped compartment or whatever shape compartment you want to call it. She's now going to have access to technically all three more of those air defense. So really pulls this off nicely. It's that giant down. Um, probably is a little late on those uh, on those wizards there. And for, uh, that wizard, unfortunately, doesn't get that uh, elixir pump down. But no big deal. This elixir storage is in the perfect spot to drag, drag this queen down. Now she is in because the next defense she's going to go to, or next building, I should say, is that air defense. She's going to continue to get good, good value in here. Drops these two balloons here. I thought that was genius as well because that air defense is down. So watch the balloons get two uh, two defenses for two for two trade and even crash on that uh, builder site and get a third building out of the deal. So good value on those two balloons. <clears throat> in one moment, as soon as this queen kind of finishes her job up here, he's going to start dropping these dragons out this queen chamber. Um, another little thing has this uh, has a few balloons in the bag. It took me a minute to realize why he dropped this balloon down on the queen chamber, but uh, I will explain it one moment. As soon as this queen does her thing, a little bit off on that rage spell. She was standing in the rage. She just would have ripped through those buildings. See that balloon? You know what that did? That ensured that the red mine wasn't going to be a black mine, and he wasn't going to lose a drag to a black mine there. So the balloon was just a little bit of a scout to take care of any sort of mines that were in that queen chamber and then leaving his dragons just free to step up, take care of that defensive queen and rip through this stuff. That queen is now locked on in this air defense, like just perfect timing because the the dragons are about to get in range of that. Golem in the CC, no big deal. Rages up the queen so she can rip through that stuff. Now, um, still has not dropped his clan castle and I was like, what is in it? And there it goes, a max hound. So. Thought it was interesting, look how fast this hound dies to the double mine, but it doesn't matter. It kind of worked out perfectly, gets pups in there, allows the queen to step up there, take care of that air defense just as the hound bursts. So it gets pup action going on, doing some cleanup up here, helping out with those defenses and trash buildings, gets these balloons over to the expo here that doesn't quite take down the expo, but leave it with like a shred of health on it. So see what I mean? Just a little bit of health on that expo going to allow the dragons to rip through that or the queen when they step up and take care of it. Drops the king up here as well. Just basically a swag king doing some cleanup on the outside. Time is prob probably was a little bit of an issue on this raid. But it doesn't matter because it turns out to be tree in the bag for Val. Nice job, buddy. Just killing it for us. <clears throat> sexy, sexy. All right, a couple more here. I'm going to show derp a -doo going in. Um, standard, sort of standard double jump go -ho. Again. Love it. Uh, very small compartments, um, so you can really, really get good value on your jumps because you you kind of can control where they're going to go because they are small compartments, but they're long compartments. So you just kind of watch how Val or sorry Derp here really controls where his Valks go. <clears throat> Queen charges in. <laughs> very. Uh, there is a Tesla here. I cannot believe it didn't pop on that corner, but whatever. 
Perfect. Queen's going to go right on into here. Get good value. Take out the expo. Pull out that clan castle. Already dropped some minion down here. Do a little bit of funneling. Get a free uh, free gold storage out of the deal. Uh, throws that hog in there. Gets that lure out. Here comes some Valks, some Barbs. Doesn't matter. Poison's going to go down. Now a little, little bit of a scare here. <laughs> Derp's queen gets so low here. It is ridiculous. Takes care of the CC troops under the rage. Not a big deal. But just look at that getting so low and it's going to get even lower i swear by the time the queen gets over here it's got a shred of health look at it taking uh splash damage and three point defense one of them being a level three expo queen queen oh my god how did the queen not die there i cannot believe it <laughs> look at that taking mortar shots but it doesn't matter down goes the archer tower and is going to get some healing back up <laughs> so <laughs> close so anyways the whole side here is done so there's only one spot for the boss to go heal is down jump is down going to control everything everything into these two compartments because you know there's a lot not a lot of places for them to wander i'm going to go right into here just so one jump boom in one jump or second jump in letting everything in now has the hogs in doing work on all these outer point defenses down go a couple cannons arch towers getting taken down the only place of concern is the 12 o'clock basically now at this point but everything's kind of met up in the middle the only thing i would have said derp if you had just connected this compartment where the queen was she would be in there but it doesn't matter she works through the wall triggers the dgb perfect hogs are in golem's in there doing a little bit of tanky too uh, King and Valks bust out to the outside, which kind of sucks, but it doesn't matter because the Queen's going to step up now, help start taking care of those Teslas. Everything's doing tanking. It doesn't matter. Has cleanup troops on the bottom side there with the Valkyries that are stuck on the wall. Don't matter. Definitely a tree star is imminent. Archer Tower and an Archer Tower and a cannon to go. King's in there doing his thing. Beautiful. Tree in the bag for derp. Beauty. All right, so like I had mentioned in the beginning here, I did want to show this uh, one attack by TU. TU is obviously a max 11 going in on, um, you know, level 2 Infernos. Um, you know, so not a fully developed Town Hall 10 by any means. However, uh, you know, max heroes on this Town Hall 10. A lot of good walls on this Town Hall 10. So I thought I wanted to show this because look at the troop comp. 15 bowlers and 12 miners. And what amazed me wasn't just the troop comp, was how many units he had left at the end of the raid. So funnel is down, right? Nice, big, 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 wide funnel here. Um, as soon as that kind of happens, you're going to see uh, jump spell go down. And this huge pack of bowlers go in. Sends a golem, a couple giants in ahead. King goes in. Warden is in. And boom, here come the bowlers from behind. <clears throat> Bowlers are going to get big bit. Watch this golem die to the bowl, bowlers from the bowl, golem. Holy, just like instant one shot from that pack of bowlers on the golem. And in come the miners now. Now keep an eye on these miners as they work through the base. So uh, good job with that funnel because it's going to let the miners into these defenses instead of just being on the outside of these trash buildings. Keep in mind, you do have to funnel them. They do go back and then start working around from uh, kind of up and around the 9 o'clock spot. Free spell is down. Rage spell goes down. Look look at the bowlers just get crazy value under that rage. Just shredding through that core. Miners are going to kind of just work up and around this base. Like, there's nothing left of this base. <laughs> you know, he used everything. Has a max skelly spell, too. He drops on the outside. Look at this. All these skeletons spawn on the outside. I don't know the viability of that. But, hey, why not? If you didn't need a, one space for your dark spell, it is a good spell to go to. But all these miners are still alive. Not lost basically any miners, any bowlers. There's not much to really defend the rest of this bully attack. So, T, you just smashes it. Look at all those troops left over. Nice job, buddy. Nice six packs from our uh, from our top two bases here. Really, uh, really made uh, made the war for us. So, <clears throat> no offense to show on that bully murmur. I just uh, thought the twelve minor fifteen bowlers was a really cool attack. I wanted to show that. So, anyhow, great war. Hats off, Spartans. Really good job. Uh, you know, obviously Spartans Legacy just handed uh, handed Invicta their ass, so it was kind of neat that we ended up matching up with you guys anyhow. Uh, but uh, I think I'm going to call it an afternoon. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the recap. That'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help beg that next tree star. Till then, I'm out.